Hi guys, welcome back to the YA Room. It's me, Alex, and I'm one half of the awesome Melbourne-based book club. Uh, we meet once a month at Dimix and talk about our book of the month, which is chosen by you guys. This month we're reading Renegades by Marissa Meyer, and it sounds really interesting. Haven't started reading it yet, but I definitely can't wait to tuck into it. So if you guys are around or in Melbourne or have Twitter, we're going to be having a Twitter chat soon with 10 questions about the book and some of its themes, and then we'll be meeting again in Dimmicks talking about all the feels of the book and just getting into all the goss about it. So without further ado, I'm just going to show you some of the books I've recently finished. So last month I reread a couple of the Harry Potters. So I reread Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. I listened to an audio and I was really surprised about how much I just couldn't remember or how many scenes I'd forgotten after watching the movie so many times. So I was really happy with those ones and I gave both of them five stars because I reread Chamber of Secrets as well. I've got these gorgeous hardcover editions and I just am in love with them. Um, I gave them both five stars. I thought they were brilliant. Next, I read Rawkos by Marie Lu. Uh, this was actually our book of the month for October. I nearly said September, but I know it's November, guys. I am on track. I am just an idiot. Um, and I really like this one. So it's kind of like Ready Play One vibes. And she has to discover who's trying to hack this game and why. So we're following her adventures in that. And I really enjoyed it. I gave it a 3.5, mainly because I thought it was a bit predictable. But um, all in all, I did like the story and will probably end up reading the sequel. I also read Stalking Jack the Ripper. And this one's by Kerry Maniscalco. Maniscalco. I don't know how to say names and I'm really sorry, but hopefully I said that right. If I didn't, just please forgive me. Um, but this one is set in the 1800s, very Sherlock Holmes. It's about this girl and she's trying to figure out who Jack the Ripper is. And uh, the whole time she's like bantering with people and she's being like, no, I want to do this. And it's real feminist agenda type of thing. And I really enjoyed it. I gave it 4.5, I think. I just, I need more and I can't wait to read the sequel. I've already got it on my bookshelf, just ready to read as soon as I finish a few other things. I also read Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. I loved this one. I gave it five stars. I really enjoyed the story. It's a mammoth of a book. It's like 660 pages and it took me about a week to read, which is actually pretty impressive. I'm pretty proud of myself for that. And it follows a guy named Koth and he's telling his story over three days. And this day is, this book is just the first day. So a lot of stuff happens and it goes on from his childhood all through to where he just ends up being an innkeeper at a bar in a small town so it's got things to do with like magic and demons as well and I thought it was a really interesting story I can't wait to read the sequel I've got it on my shelf as well I also recently finished Stardust by Neil Gaiman. I listened to this one in audio because I had an audible and it's only about six hours long, I think. I gave this one a four stars. I really, really, really liked the movie and have watched it millions of times. It's probably an exaggeration, but I've watched it enough times to be like, this is a solid film. I rate it five stars. And the book is so different. Like, some of the stuff that happens in the book just isn't as engaging as what happens in the movie. So I kind of can't even compare the two because they're two completely different stories in a way. But I did really enjoy it. I love Neil Gaiman's books because he narrates them himself most of the time, which is always good. He's got a really great voice. So if you're looking for something just like small and fantastical, maybe this one. Give it a go. I've also been reading a few... Aussie classics of our time. I recently read Looking for Alec Brandy by Melina Marchetta. I actually started tapping in this one and I've got a lot of tabs. Um, mostly about like things that made me feel sad or things just made me feel things in general. Quotes I liked, writings, like the way she written things that I really liked. I just had a lot of feels for this book and I really liked it. I found it really relatable and I am shocked that I never picked it up when I was in high school. If I read this when I was high school, I would have actually read the books, but we didn't, so. I also read two of our other books. So I recently read Saving Francesca and The Piper's Son. I loved them both. I gave, I gave this one five, I enjoyed it way more. And this one was about a four for me. I didn't enjoy it as much, 
only because maybe the protagonist was male or I couldn't really relate to some of the things that he was talking about. But saving Francesca, I just related so much and I was crying basically the whole time while I was reading this book and I really enjoyed it. I just basically read it in one sitting and mate, how did I never read any Melina Machad books when I was a child? Or a teenager even. I wish I read books like this when I was 17 because they're so touching and heartfelt and I don't think I really had books like that when I was in high school. I mean I had to kill a mockingbird. Now that book's actually low-key shit but um anyway let's move on. So that's really all for what I finished recently um, but at the moment I'm currently reading Tin Heart by Chiffon Plaza. This is the ARC version. Thank you so much Penguin for sending it out to me. I Loved Frankie and I can't wait to tuck into this one and just devour it as much as And I've also been reading Renegades by Marissa Mai, which is our book club book of the month. Um, I'm kind of going into this blind. I've read Cinder, so I kind of understand her writing style, but I actually haven't really read the blurb or anything for this one. I know it's meant to be really cool and that a lot of my friends actually adore it, so I'm hoping I do too. I'm just going to guesstimate maybe a four stars. Um, it's a mammoth of the book. I think this is the biggest book we've read this year for book club. So I'm really excited. So that's all I've been reading recently. Uh, let me know if you've read any of these books and what you're recently reading. I really need some new thrillers or some crimey ones. I am kind of obsessing over... Osway as well at the moment because I'm just really getting pumped for December. If you guys haven't heard our big news for December, I'll leave all the links and the details down below. We're really excited and we just can't wait for everything we have in tune for you guys. So I'll put everything in the details down below. These are the books I'm currently reading and the books I've recently finished. It's a big stack and I feel it slipping and I kind of don't want to drop it on camera. <laughs> I'm just going to leave it at that, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. We can't wait to show you everything we have in tune for December. So just keep an eye out, guys. We'll see you soon. Bye.